Oscar Nation. Welcome to another video from Just Two Dudes. My name's Louie. My name's Seth. I'm the dad. And I'm the son. Alright, so spring practice is well underway. We're just uh, two days away from the spring game. Finally! Finally. Yeah, yeah, we want to talk a little bit about defense. Yeah. Um, wow, last year couldn't, couldn't have imagined uh, the improvement. Uh, In all areas of yeah, defense. Yeah, but uh, the big improvement and the main reason for everything is gone. And to me, I you know, we can talk about a lot of different things with the defense, um, but who is, who or what players uh, are going to step up and uh, fill not only his, his, his role uh, as just such an out-of-this-world playmaker, but of course we're talking about Big Sue, uh, but who's, who's going who's gonna to be that leader? Yeah, us. and yeah. set the bar so high yeah. to where if you want to even think about getting on the field with Big Sue, your game has to be up to a very high level. Yeah. And to me, that's what I worry about losing. This is Nebraska. We should be able to lose an all-world D tackle and have a couple in the pipeline. Yeah, which it looks like we do. I think the world of Jared Crick. Yeah, Jared Crick's a phenomenal player. Yeah. And Baker Steincooler, I think he's he could be like Crick last year. We were like, well, who's... I don't know, this Kirk guy is okay, but like you know, he made so many strides last year. I think Baker will realize the opportunity he has, and I think Kirk will help him with it. And I think Baker will just seize it. Well, all all fall camp last year, we kept hearing Bo and Carl Pellini. They even went as far as to say uh, people. People better not be selling Jared Crick short. Yeah. They even said people are going to be amazed at how good he is, the strides he's made, and uh, I think don't sleep on him because he'll sneak up, and he did sneak up. I man. think it's he even possible that the D-line this year can be better than last year, as crazy as that may seem to some people. I think people. that's crazy. Well, I think Pierre Allen last year did not play up to his potential. I don't think he had the greatest year, I th and Barry Turner definitely had a year where somebody can replace him. Yeah. I think Cameron Meredith I think Cameron Meredith could have like as far as big plays go is the Sioux potential. I, I see him getting third down sacks when we need him. I see him making um, the run stops on toss plays when teams try to get to the edge. I see Cameron Meredith making so many plays for this defense to where we the defense or the defensive line won't be I don't think it'll there's no way it can be better on the interior, but as a yes. whole coming from the interior and the outside, Cameron, I think the Cameron ends will Meredith be better. Cameron Meredith and Pierre Allen uh, I think have a really good chance of being better than Pierre Allen and Barry Turner. Oh, absolutely. Barry Turner is and gone. Pierre Allen better improve from last year. I'm not saying anything bad about yeah. Pierre Allen last year. But you have he to came improve. on really strong at the end of the year. Well, he's finally getting his, healthy. His game against Texas was his best game. Oh, that was a great game. Yeah. And then he followed it up in the Holiday Bowl with, I think, two and a half sacks. Yeah. He finally yeah. started getting healthy. He played with a turf toe, all, turf toe injury all yeah. year. Those hurt. Okay, this, this, this new thing they're calling our defense is the peso defense. Uh, Seth, why don't you just spend a short time uh, explaining the difference between the peso defense and the nickel and dime. All right, well, we're just going to make it real simple to keep time short here. Uh -huh. But on the nickel formation, a base nickel, you have four linemen, two linebackers, two safeties, three corners. Okay. The corner, the nickel back, is lined up outside of the box. And in the peso defense, it is absolutely 100% just like the nickel. Except the nickel back, which in our case is Eric Hag, uh -huh. he will be inside the box. So it's going to look like a traditional 4-3, but with the linebackers just shifted over a little bit. And instead of, a, instead of the third linebacker, you're going to have a safety corner hybrid type, right? Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's definitely a hybrid. Eric Hag. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is going on with my man uh, Dijon Gomes? This kid, we watched five or six games of last year and when they finally got him in the lineup uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, you have uh, Indomitian Sue and you have uh, the, the skinny punter uh, <laughs> Alex Henry Love and Alex. then Dijon Gomes yeah. I think those those players they stick out on film 
It's just so much. Well, Dijon Gomes making plays I, all over. I what do they do with Dijon? Well, hold on real quick. I'll get to Dijon, but Prince Amu Kamara, it was the best defensive back on the field last year. He just couldn't have all the plays. Normally, when you don't see a corner a lot in the game, he's doing pretty good. That means they're a scaredy cat of him. Yeah, which yeah. hopefully... Hopefully it, didn't hurt, it didn't hurt that the D-line was putting a lot of pressure on. Well, right. To where this year I don't see the D-line getting as much pressure on, so so Prince is going to have to earn it this year, well, maybe more so than last year. I do, because we finally have Vince that can get to the pass. I, I disagree. I don't think the line's going to get the push. There's a big difference, because when you get a push I think from we'll have, the ends... I think we'll have the edge rush. Listen, when you get pushed from the ends, the quarterback can step up into the pocket. Okay, but when you get a push from the interior, right, there's no, nowhere for that quarterback to step up, and I don't see the push from the interior coming. Well, this year. here's one thing we're somewhat overlooking. This is Bo Pelini's third year. Mm -hmm. These guys, they're in like their third year learning the system. Bo will come up with some crazy blitzes. Well, he so, may he may have to this year because I just yeah. don't see the interior push coming. But uh, how many times I gotta ask you about I know, the man man John Gomes? I know. That's my man. Dejon Gomes and Anthony West moved from corner to free safety. Why? It's just to get the best 11 players on the field, in my opinion. Dejon, I agree with you. He's probably outside of uh, Prince and Sue last year. Just Sue. Is the best playmaker on that team, okay. or on that unit. And they want him to be on the field. He's basically replacing Matt O'Hanlon. And then when we move to our dime package, he's going to come back down into the spot he played last year, which then it will be up to guys like Austin Cassidy, Anthony West, um, Ricky Thenars, if he's healthy, to play the free safety in the dime role. And then Gomes will be right down here mm -hmm. on, the, on the fourth or fifth receiver, whatever it may be. Just where he was last year. That was the only time he got on the fielders in the dime last year. So really, they're not changing Dijon's. Uh, they're not changing him really at all. They're just putting. Good luck throwing field your little more. routes on my man Dijon. He yeah. is. Your man's already covered. Yeah. Before the play starts, then not gonna happen there. Just where got are we a couple minutes. Time here? Just got a couple minutes okay. left here. So let's we'll talk about linebackers. Uh, linebackers. Sean Fisher, where you at? Read an article the other day. Uh, they talked about uh, last year you getting dominated because once somebody put their hands on you, uh, you couldn't get away. And uh, who was it? Eckler just said he's got the best um, uh, technique that they've seen in a long time. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, as far as linebackers go, I think um, the biggest improvement is going to have to be somebody filling Philip Dillard's spot. Yeah. And hopefully somebody will do that. I hear, I'm hear i hearing really great things from Will Compton. Mm -hmm. I hear he's um, everything slowed down for him, which is what you heard Philip Dillard talk about a lot last year. Things are slowing down for him. He's able to read things faster, and he's not thinking as much as where to go. He's just going there. Yeah. You know? And but we need somebody else too, because in this pace of defense, two linebackers. Yeah. So I think the Eric other Martin. spot, Eric Martin, has already got that locked in. Do we? We're out of time right now, right? Yeah. Okay, right guys, we'll see you soon.